Who invented chiropractic and where did it come from? That's what we're going to discuss this week on Think Stuffedically. Chiropractic was developed by Daniel David Palmer, a former beekeeper and raspberry salesman. So clearly he has the medical credentials necessary to revolutionize medicine. In 1887, he opened an infirmary in Iowa to practice magnetic healing because, you know, that's totally not bullshit at all. No, this is actually what's published in the Association for the History of Chiropractic. So not only that, but from his, this entirely unscientific endeavor, he concluded, this master genius raspberry salesman and beekeeper concluded that all disease is caused by inflammation and that he could cure this inflammation by putting his fingers over the disease organs and transmitting excess vital magnetic energy. Whatever, whatever that is. It wasn't until 1985 that he developed what would become the basis of chiropractic, namely that inflammation is caused by displaced anatomic structures that rubbed against each other, also known as subluxations, as he came to call them later, and that um, you could cure these by manually repositioning the parts, also known today as chiropractic manipulation. That he came up with in spite of the fact that the germ theory of disease, which, in, which had been proposed around the mid-16th century, easily describes how diseases are caused, how they work, and gives us a sound theoretical basis on which to pursue cures for those diseases and treatments. Palmer, along with his brainwashed idiot son, BJ, who was himself a mesmerist and a circus performer, another great resume, for a medical revolutionary, uh, opened the first chiropractic, aka drugless healthcare clinic, in 1898. Uh, BJ took over uh, the Palmer School of Chiropractic, calling it a school, pretty generous, um, in 1902. I've heard it said quite a bit that there hasn't been any studies about chiropractic that disprove it or, or what have you or that it's somewhat ethical. Um, I'm not saying that the 60s um, were the best time in all of history and certainly there's been more data that's been compiled since then, but I want to read you the conclusion that is included in the 1968 report titled Independent Practitioners Under Medicare, a report to Congress. Now, what this report was meant to do was to recommend um, treatments to be covered under Medicare and a lot of uh, CAM treatments, uh, complementary and alternative medicine, um, were included in this study. Now, the recommendation for chiropractic reads as follows. Chiropractic theory and practice are not based upon the body of basic knowledge related to health, disease, and health care that has been widely accepted by the scientific community. Moreover, irrespective of its theory, the scope and quality of chiropractic education does not prepare the practitioner to make an adequate diagnosis and provide appropriate treatment. Therefore, it is recommended that chiropractic service not be covered by the Medicare program. I would just like to reemphasize that they said that it is not accepted by the scientific community. That's it for the history of chiropractic in under five minutes. I hope it's under five minutes by the time I've edited this. Please like, comment, and share it, and I will see you next time.